In this video, we're going to talk about how you can adjust your Microsoft authentication settings within your Microsoft account. So to get started, what you're going to do is log into your Microsoft account. You can do so by heading to office.com and log in there, and then you'll see a screen that looks a lot like this. And from here, you're going to go to the upper right hand corner and you're going to click your avatar icon up here. You'll see one of your options is view account. That's the one that you want to select in order to load your Microsoft account page. Once you're here, you're going to look for the tile called security info, and you're going to go down to the update info option and click that link. Once here, you will see the different uh, tools that you have tied to your Microsoft Authenticator settings for your security information. So from here, you'll notice that uh, for some of these, you have the option to change information. So for instance, if you get a new phone and you've got a new phone number, you can click change to update your phone number. Or if uh, you decide you're not going to use one of these options anymore, you can go over here and you've got the delete option available to you. So if you get a new phone and you'd like to delete the Microsoft Authenticator from an old one, you can click that option. And then to add the Microsoft Authenticator app on a new device or to add a new phone into your uh, security information area, what you can do is go over here to the add sign in method option. Click that. You'll then get a drop down with all of these different options for you. So if you want to add a new Microsoft Authenticator app, you can do so. If you want to add an alternative phone, you can do so or a backup email or things like that. So select these options, go through the enrollment phase, and then you will have as many different uh, sign in methods as you would like listed here. The other thing that I want to point out is up here at the top, you'll notice there's an area called default sign in method. And in this area, you can change what the default method is to perform multi-factor authentication when you log into your Microsoft account. So you'll see mine is currently set to Microsoft Authenticator. I get a notification in the app. But if I wanted to change that to something else, I can always click the change option and that will allow me to change my default. That's it. Once you're all done, you can close the tab and you have updated your security information and Microsoft Authenticator options.